Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about the Mongolian gazelle. Procapra gutterosa, also known as the Zarin, is a medium-sized antelope native to the Central Asian steppes. Recognized by its slender build, long legs, and a distinct gular throat patch, this species is one of the most nomadic and abundant wild ungulates in the world. Its remarkable endurance and speed, capable of sustained runs over open plains, have evolved to help it evade predators and traverse vast migratory routes. Mongolian gazelles inhabit temperate grasslands, desert steppes, and semi-arid plains, where annual precipitation is low and vegetation is dominated by grasses and sedges. They favor areas with gently rolling terrain, which allows for clear visibility to detect predators, and often move seasonally between more verdant summer grazing grounds and snow-free winter refuges. Adults typically stand 60 to 75 centimeters at the shoulder and measure 90 to 110 centimeters in head body length. Males weigh between 25 and 35 kilograms, while females tend to be slightly lighter, around 23 to 30 kilograms. Both sexes bear short, slightly curved horns. Those of males are larger and more robust. Their coats are a sandy tan in summer, turning grayer and thicker in winter, providing camouflage and insulation. As obligate grazers, Mongolian gazelles feed primarily on grasses, such as wheatgrass and fescue, sedges and other low-lying herbage. During harsh winters, they paw through snow to access buried vegetation and may browse on shrubs when grasses are scarce. Their highly efficient digestive system allows them to extract nutrients from tough, fibrous plant materials characteristic of steppe ecosystems. Gazelles form expansive, fluid herds that can number in the tens or even hundreds of thousands, among the largest ungulate aggregations on Earth. Outside the breeding season, these herds are largely mixed and dynamic, with individuals joining and departing freely. The rut occurs in late autumn, September-October. Males establish temporary territories and compete through displays and horn clashes to access groups of receptive females. After a gestation of about 160 days, Females typically give birth to a single fawn in late spring. Newborns are well camouflaged and remain hidden for several days before joining the herd. Wolves, snow leopards, Eurasian lynx are the primary natural predators of Mongolian gazelles, especially during winter when herds concentrate in residual grass patches. Other predators include corsac foxes, preying on young or weakened individuals, golden eagles, which may target fawns, and occasionally brown bears and palaces cats at the edges of their range, Human-triggered threats, such as poaching and disturbance from livestock grazing, also increase mortality rates. The genus Procapra diverged from other antelope lineages roughly 8-10 million years ago. Fossil records suggest that ancestral Procapra species once spread across much of Asia, adapting to open, arid habitats. The Mongolian gazelle's extreme nomadism likely evolved in response to the harsh climatic variability of the Eurasian steppe favoring traits for long-distance movement and rapid detection of predators. Today, Mongolian gazelles occupy a broad but discontinuous range across Mongolia's eastern and southern regions, the Transbaikal area of Russia, and parts of northern China, Inner Mongolia, and Xinjiang. Their movements can span hundreds of kilometers annually, with core populations centered on the Onan Shilka River Basin, the eastern Gobi Desert Steppes, and the Dorian Grasslands. For Mongolian herders and other Central Asian nomadic peoples, the Tsarin has long been symbolically tied to notions of freedom, endurance, and the open steppe. Traditional hunting, once practiced on a small scale for meat and hide, featured prominently in folklore, songs, and the shamanic rituals of Turkic and Mongolic tribes. Today, the gazelle remains part of national identity and is celebrated in festivals and literature as an emblem of the wild plains. Estimates suggest there are around 1.2 to 1.5 million Mongolian gazelles overall, making them one of the most numerous antelopes worldwide. However, numbers fluctuate dramatically year to year due to weather extremes, disease outbreaks, and human pressures. Although classified as least concerned by the IUCN, local declines have been noted where fencing, habitat fragmentation, and unregulated hunting disrupt migrations. Conservation efforts focus on maintaining migratory corridors, reducing illegal hunting, and mitigating conflicts between gazelles and livestock herding. Several cross-border initiatives between Mongolia, Russia, and China aim to establish transboundary protected areas, such as the Daria International Protected Area, to safeguard key seasonal ranges. 
There are also proposals to reintroduce gazelles into historically occupied sites where barriers have since been removed, restoring connectivity across the steppe ecosystem. Continuous population monitoring and community-based stewardship are critical to ensuring the species' resilience in the face of climatic and anthropogenic change. Thanks for joining us on the vast plains of Central Asia, where the Mongolian gazelle runs free in one of the planet's greatest migrations. From their lightning-fast sprints to the intricate dance of their seasonal journeys, these graceful antelopes remind us how interconnected life on the steppe truly is. If you love this glimpse into the world of the Zarin, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps us keep exploring nature's most incredible stories. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss an adventure into the wild. Have you ever witnessed a gazelle migration or do you have questions about their conservation? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories. And if you're curious about other remarkable migrations or steppe wildlife, click on the video popping up right here. Until next time, Keep your spirit wild, and I'll see you in the next journey.